Shalom, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakagodash, the double honor to the apostles and the others at Great Millstone, and salutations to the brothers out there sincerely pushing the truth with all truth and sincerity. All right, Shalom, and Shalom to the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth. And um, I had a topic on my spirit, uh, as you can see, is in transit. I'm on my way to the to the job, and um, you know, I just want to exhort you brothers and you sisters to keep pushing in the faith, man, to keep on going, because as you can see, what's going on in, in Babylon, you got uh, division being um, played out. Where you got your family members, you got people that you're close with, you got uh, family, friends, and you might got coworkers all be looking at you crazy uh, because you you don't want to get jabbed up okay and you got uh the unjabbed and the jab are basically they, they they're uh these people the at least these, these rulers they have them combining i mean clashing against one another and that causes division whether you got uh your woman not in the truth or your your, your you know your kids okay and as you can see what'll help you keep pushing is you seeing all shit all hell breaking loose and when I say all hell, I mean it's not all hell completely broke loose yet. But you can see uh, what we got: buildings. This morning, one, two o'clock in the morning, you had a whole building collapse in Miami, Florida, man. That's judgment of your Howell by Shemmy Howell Shy, man. You got Brit uh, DC, a whole bridge collapse, man. So you got things happening on the planet Earth, which 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 will keep you a uh, 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 focus on your Howell by Shemmy Howell Shy. What the hell else are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do? Go back in the world and do what? Chase what? What is what, what? What are we gonna chase? Women? When we actually know, and the scriptures tell us that those that knew the will of the Lord, roughly paraphrasing, shall be beaten with many stripes. So we actually know the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and we can actually see the hand of the Lord working in the planet Earth. We can see Him killing people. We can see all different types of, and, and a lot of women are getting killed, man. A lot of women are getting shot down uh, down here in Miami. So, hey, the, uh, a whole bunch of little kids and little babies getting killed, shot up. That's the that's the work of the Lord, man. The, the, the Lord is doing that. And everybody's all sad. Oh, man, that's so sad. You know what I mean? Hey, it's a fucked up predicament. But at the end of the day, the scriptures tell you whoever perished being innocent, man. That little baby, baby was here on the, on the planet Earth before. And he had to pay for his sins. Nobody's exempt. The Lord is no respect of a person. All right? So everybody's going to get every uh, Galatians 6 and 7. For whatsoever a man sowed, that shall he also reap. Through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. You ain't going to... Nobody gets away, man. Your ass come back in this lifetime and the Lord will get your ass right now, man. And this goes for all of us. Nobody's exempt. So just exhorting you, brothers and sisters, to keep pushing, man. Because, hey, what we got? Uh, John 13, what, what Peter told the Lord, uh, he said, Lord, you will never wash my feet. And the Lord said, if I don't wash your feet, I have nothing to do with you. And Peter said, oh, oh Lord, you can wash my head in, my whole, my, my, my feet, you know? But that's how we feel in the spirit, man. You know, that's how we feel. We feel like Peter. Like, what? what uh, another account where the Lord asked Peter uh, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the Israelites when they got offended of the Lord and they bugged out off, off of a, a parable if I'm not mistaken and, and, and Yahweh Shai asked Peter he said you gonna get offended as well you gonna leave as well and Peter said well, where I'm gonna go ain't nowhere else to go man there is literally nowhere else for us to go if we go back in, and I heard Apostle Gabal say this man this was heavy he probably said this probably about a couple years back, probably might like a year and a half, two years ago. He said, um, he said, man, if 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 I'm not in this truth, man, I I, I want the Lord to take me, man. And and, and 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 listening to that, you know, and meditating upon that, you it's true because if you what else is there to do? If you're not serving Yahweh Ba Shem if you're not in the in the word. There's nothing else to do. You literally know the mysteries. You know that this place is about to go bye-bye. And all these bridges and these uh, structures and these bridges collapsing is an omen for Babylon at literally crashing down. 
This place is being torn down. The Lord is actually breaking this place down. And, and the people of this world, they are sad. And you Israelites, you Negroes, you Latinos, and Native Americans, if you don't, whether you believe it or not, you can laugh at the prophets, you can laugh at the men of the Lord all you want. You don't, if you don't believe it, that's on you. Romans 3 and 3, 2nd Ezra 15 and 1, man. It's on you. But you, you gotta repent, man. You better repent or you might be next. All right, Sirach 5 and 7 says what? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. And that goes for all of us. Be examining yourself, you know, knowing when enough, okay, damn, you know, I'm in the flesh too much. I'm doing this too much, you know, trying to balance yourself out, man. Speaking of myself first and foremost, man, we all got to catch ourselves, you know, when we indulging in certain things too much that put us out of the spirit or that's not beneficial for our health like that, man. And the flesh, it, it's, you know, the flesh, man, the flesh, it, it, it wants those things. It wants you to, you know, be lazy. It wants to drink and eat all day. It wants to, it wants to do that. But that spirit, it, the spirit got to kick in, man. All right. But uh, back to the point, man, to keep pushing, man. And no matter what, hey, the Lord said, if he that hateth not his father, his mother, his children, okay, for, for my name's sake, you ain't worthy to be a disciple, man. And as we can see in the upcoming times, you have people in uh, 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 Houston, Texas, that lost their jobs. 183 or 177 workers lost their jobs the other day because they didn't want to get jabbed up. Okay, now, I don't, don't, I don't know if they're in the truth, but how much more us, man? How much more are we going to have to stand on the, the, the name and the word of the Lord? What does the scripture say in 2nd Ezra? Okay, uh, these are the men that stood stiffly in the crowning session, roughly paraphrasing. These are the men that stood stiffly for the names of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. They stood stiffly. They stood on the word, man. They stood on what Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai stood for. They stood on the scriptures, man, no matter what. No matter what adversity, they said, fuck it, man. And that's what we do. That's what we're doing to the best of our ability, Lord willing, man. Because we can't get, we can't bow down to this system, man. And it's only going to get tighter and tighter. And I just seen an article with Joe Biden trying to take away people's guns. How the hell Joe Biden trying to take away people's guns, but now they got open carry up in Texas. So you can just see all type of shit, fuck shit, man. And you can't see that the Lord is, is fucking this place up. The Lord... He blinded you, man. Man, if you got a man of the Lord, you better hold on to him, man. You better hold on to him. You better respect that, man. You better respect. Hey, the spirit made me say that because I don't even talk about women like that, man, in my, in my lessons. But you women, you better repent. A lot of women are dying, man. And, and here it is when a woman die, uh, Jake get all say, oh, man, it's all fucked up now. Oh yeah, it's all fucked up. You just wait and see till shit gets really fucked up. You just wait. You just wait, man. <laughs> all right, you just wait. Second Ezra chapter five verse one. Okay, that day is coming. What they should be taken in a great number. You know, but for you brothers and sisters that believe on Yahweh Shem we ain't got to worry about that, man. We just got to stand stiffly and do what Yahweh Shem told us to do to the best of our ability, man. And with that, shalom.